Welcome to 8.1's Math Moment. Today in sixth grade, students displayed, interpreted, and summarized data. Today we're going to be looking at a dot plot, as you can see here. We're going to be using this for all of our questions today. So the very first question says, how many students does the dot plot represent? Well, the first thing we need to go ahead and look at is we're looking at family size, which is the title of our dot plot. This is the number of children in a family. We can see we've got one, two, three, four, or five children in our family. To figure out how many students does the dot plot represent, we're going to look at how many dots are in each of the columns and then add those to figure out how many students are completely displayed in this um, dot plot. So I look at this first one, I know I have three. I always like to write my numbers on top in case I need to use them multiple times. For, number, uh, for two students in a family, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight students, or eight students in that category. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve students here. I've got two, and then I have three for five students. Now I need to go ahead and add these all together to figure out how many students does this entire dot plot represent. I'm going to try to do some fast math, making groups of numbers that I can add quickly. I know 12 plus 3 is 15. I know 8 plus 2 is 10. And then I've got 3. When I add these all up, I have 28 students. So how many students does the dot plot represent? It represents 28 students. Now the second part of this question is still using that same dot plot. Notice I didn't erase my numbers in case I need to use them again for another question. Do more students have one or two children in their family or three children in their family? So now I need to look at a combination of one and two, which is right here. I need to look at these two items right here. Or do they have three, three children in their family? So I need to compare these two circles to figure out who has more. Well, I know three has 12 um, children. Uh, three, 12 um, is 3. But I need to figure out what 1 and 2 when I add those together. When I add those together, I get 11. So do more students have 1 or 2 children or do more students have 3? In this case, the answer would be 3 children have more. Alright, this last question says, you know, is a new student. She has 2 children in her family. Plot her data on the dot plot. When I look at this one, I'm going to go ahead and erase my circles from the previous question. And I'm going to answer this where I'm going to put Yeneth as a new student. She has two children in her family. Where does she go on the dot plot? Well, in this case, I'm going to add a circle for Yeneth on the dot plot. If you have any questions about 8.1, make sure you see your math teacher.